A new star season alpha 3.19.1 patch just hit the PTU and we're going straight into it. Under feature updates, they mention under the gameplay section, ASAP terminal technical refactor, tractor beam quality of life, mineable scanning update, and they've added the furry, furry MX and the Drake Corsair to free flight racing and pirate and vandal swarm modes in community commander. Under ships and vehicles, they did a polish on the furry and they increased the Corsair maneuvering thruster HP. On the core tech, they've updated the Toby SDK to 7.4.2.17. Before we move forward, I'd like to need people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of June this time. It's the Mirai Furry. In order to participate, all you gotta do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of June. Let's move on. Under bug fixes, they have quite a few. Uh, we're just gonna go straight into that. They fixed multiple causes of the 19,003 and account unstole issue. So that's been fixed. Multiple issues causing AI to duplicate in locations around the PU. That's been fixed. There should no longer be medical bay bed and screen obstruction in hangars. That's been fixed. Ships should no longer show in ASAP and destroyed when storing. That's been fixed. Claimed and delivered ships should no longer load into wrong location when primary residence is changed that's been fixed asap should no longer fail to register ship destruction in specific conditions allowing retrieval of permanently destroyed ships and hindering insurance claims players should no longer be unable to retrieve ships after disconnecting ungracefully while in the process of retrieving the ship that's been fixed asap terminals should no longer be unusable and fade to black when accessed Leaving and returning to a salvage mission contract should no longer reset progress. That's been fixed. Reclaiming main on elevator control panels should now respond to input. They fixed an issue where players cannot equip a new Moby Glass after unequipping and loses it. Fixed an issue where the interactions were sometimes not working after opening the star map. They fixed an issue where the assigned docking caller HUD element would not appear when requesting docking permissions. They fixed an issue causing ships to be impounded when calling the ATC multiple times. Mining deposits shattered at optimal range should no longer cause damage to the player's ship. Arc L4 rest stop refining elevator should now properly arrive when called. Fixed an issue causing many spawn items to not have proper inner thought prompts. Pressing the interaction key bind while the mobile glass opens in animation is playing should no longer break mouse control. Grab leg vehicles should no longer have permanent unlock items without notification or ability to toggle. Fixed missing pocket of no atmosphere inside of multiple space stations. Client performance should no longer drastically dip when getting close to certain spots on Everest, Harbor, while in a Corsair. Fixed missing terrain at the cave entrance near Lorville. They fixed an issue causing the missing person to not appear at the wreck site for the missing person mission. I've, I've noticed this uh, quite a bit actually, so I'm glad that they're fixing this. Terminal should no longer become unusable for other players after a player disconnects while interacting with them. Bunker man turrets can no longer be detached with the tractor beam and attached to your ship. That's insane. Combat assistant missions should now progress correctly after enemy ship has been destroyed. They fix an issue that causes the server stalls if multiple harvestable no shattered in quick succession. Inner thought text for requesting to take off should no longer display as request landing. Mining UI should no longer appear in low resolution. The interaction prompts for all mining turrets are easy to miss in an unintuitive location for players. Players should no longer lose functionality if attempting to get into a pilot seat and opening their inventory in quick succession. Salvage contract progress bar should no longer flicker when multiple players salvage the same object. In addition to this, they have 6 client crashes, 8 server crash fixes, and multiple back-end updates and crash fixes. This is a big one, a lot of bug fixes. You guys let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you on the next one.